Hi, I'm back. I hope you haven't missed me. I had a fall and I hit my head real bad up there. And I had to go to the hospital, have tests, but now I'm okay. It's been a lot better. But today I thought, I haven't had much energy, so I thought maybe I'd try it. Uh, just a, an unupo paper and to try doing just little things on it, show you what you can do. And uh, I hope you appreciate it because it takes a lot of effort. But I, I want you all to paint. And that's what, with me, as bad as I've been, I can still paint. Thank the Lord. Here's 20 by 26. Yupo paper, and it's like like a glass. There's a, it's, you can erase it. If you don't like something, you can erase the whole thing of techniques. And so I'm going to just show you uh, one today. And um, I'm going to be using, um, first of all, I'm going to be using a, a orange. Um, and I'm going to put it on like this. I'm just going to squeeze it on. Squeeze it on like that. And um, this is whole beans. Okay, now I've got the orange on there and I'm going to use some burnt sienna. Remember now, this paper, you can wipe it off if you don't like it. And uh, so I'm going, I'm going to get wet my brush, but not real wet. Um, kind of hit up with, on a paper. And uh, I guess I need more water. But like I said, I haven't done any of this for quite a while. Feels smooth. It's just like glass, like painting on glass. I'm using this 24 inch brush right now. I'm bringing this down. So it's lighter, more water use. It will run, but it won't hurt nothing. You can just go right back over it. Now more water. Now we're going to experiment a little bit. Now I got that on there, and I'm going to turn this around this way. Try something different and see if this will do anything. Spray on it. It's like, you know, you spray it and see what happens. You're 96 years old and you fall down. And I had a massive fall. Um, so wonder I'm around even. Now I'm just kind of bringing in, but I'm using this brush. But I'm going to bring in some more water over here. And see, I can come back in here, smooth it. And that's kind of thick on there. You can do anything with this paper. Strange, isn't it? That's strange things. There's ways to make it real smooth. But right now, um, I have something in mind, sort of in mind, that I'm going to put in some. I'm going to spread 
this, like this. You can see I haven't used this paper for quite a while, so I gotta bear with me. I'm gonna take some paper towel now and kind of see what happens. So you can kind of, you can wipe it right off. And that was too dark for me. You can wet the towel and you can get it right down to where you started from. But I'm not going to wet the towel that much. I'm going to bring in this. This is kind of wobbly. I got to. I'm going to put a glaze on this, and you only go through it once. You can't go back. You do, you take it all off again. And you can put several glazes. See, so you can take it right off. Funny throat today. Sometimes <coughs> this as a water do do what's gonna do. But I kinda of see this like seascape in here. And my wet my brush was too wet. Um strange stuff to work on, but it's fun. I can't go back in, but I could go back in there. Maybe kind of like that. There are many. You know, everybody says you have to do it this way. But um, when you experiment with something, you learn, you really learn a lot, even though it doesn't come out the way you think. 